Ready? All right, Connor Daly here yet again at the Detroit Grand Prix circuit um, with one of, I would say, America's most legendary talents, not only because he can drive, but also because of his web editing, his uh, video content production, and former mullet aficionado, Jordan Taylor. Um, we appreciate this, this time that you have given us. Um, on a scale of one to 10, let's just get this started right away. How is this mullet progressing? And what are your, I guess, tips and tricks that you could maybe offer me for the next four to five months of the racing season? So you're expecting to go four to five more months of growth. Where are we now? This is about six months in. Six months? No, eight. I would say eight months. I okay. would. I don't know. I, I don't, I'm not good at it math. It goes fast. My mind from beginning to end of trimming the mullet length was 18 months. Eight. So, that, so you so, must have some good growth. I don't know. Great. I don't. I, so here's the thing. I, I'm thinking because it's selling good merch, yeah. we're gonna keep it going to the end of the possible. season. So what's the next step of grooming? Do we go tighter down the sides? Do we get it more electric out the back? It depends what you're looking for. I mean, you've got the Tennessee top hat, the Kentucky waterfall, the beaver paddle, Mississippi um, mud flap. Exactly. So you know all the terminology. <laughs> yeah. You gotta just, just decide what you want and uh, stick with it. Mine was. A little bit softer look than yours, I think. I was a little bit more gentle, a little bit more humble. I mean, yours, you can see coming a mile away, especially when you go high and tight. But I think that's good. I think it fits the American profile. Um, and you're embracing it, so it's great. Well, realistically, the goal in life is to embrace an American profile, drive for Chevrolet, and have incredible hair at the same time. I think you're really doing all those things what made you want to go away from it, though? What's it? Was that just a stage in life? Was it something that was there a woman involved? What What was going on? It's all good questions. <laughs> Great questions. I'm not sure we can get into all the details. Okay. <laughs> but I mean, to be honest, it could be a question that I could have for you right now. One of my issues was with racing was causing some serious knowledge in the mullet and not understanding the grooming yes. that goes along with long hair. Obviously, women deal with these things all the time. Yes. With long Humidity. hair. Humidity. Wilding. I'm now figuring this yeah. out. Humidity it's is a tough battle. And just the maintenance and having the conditioner and high quality shampoos. Are you conditioning? So, yes, I am yeah. conditioning. Um, I have spent a quite a considerable amount of time at the store yeah. looking for these types of products because wild difference when you do use aggressive conditioner than not. I mean, a lot of people would think, oh, it's a mullet, it's a cheap hairstyle, but it's actually more expensive. It's high quality. You need good quality ingredients in the shampoos and the conditioners. I mean, you could probably start reaching out to some sponsors to sponsor the flow. Well, racing is a business, as yeah. we know, and that might be the next step, but I, I truly agree. As someone who never really put much effort into my head at all, because I had a bowl cut till I was 18, so you know, plop that bowl on top of your head, just cut around it. Actually, very, very simple. And but, but now it's requiring maintenance. And I'm a hat yeah, guy too. Yeah. I'm a hat guy. I never did anything with my hair, but I tell you what, if you make that it choice, if you make that choice to go out at night, and you're like, oh. we start to get it, you got to be prepared. For I use sure. a blow dryer now. Yeah, I mean, see, it costs money to have a mullet. Not just all the little liquids. You need solids. And uh, liquids one, and solids. Liquids and solids. Yeah. You gotta use everything, even gases. Um, <laughs> but well, one question I have is: Okay. Yep. At the end of the life of the mullet, the very end of the life, would you consider the skullet? Ooh. To the bald head with just the back. I don't think so because just for the last day. The last day. Maybe, but. It's really hard to make my face any worse, and that might be it. That might be I mean, the low point in our lives. But as you said, when there is a lot of life, there there is an opportunity to make something very oh, hilarious out of because, it. Because, yeah, you're going to have one opportunity. That's the thing that I look back on as a regret. I mean, you're going to have this maybe once in your life, maybe twice, you know? Yeah. But you got to get as much content and quality content as you can while you can. And I mean, I did a couple of Joe Dirt things. Hairstyle. And now I look back and I'm like, oh, I had the chance to do a skullet, and I never did it. And now if I wanted to do it, it would take 18 months to get to that point again. So it's a big commitment, and you're already halfway there. You know what? I'm glad to know that I'm only halfway there, because I really thought I was about in peak season right now. Well, but actually, I mean, it grows amazingly quick. I, I was actually taking biotin to make really? it grow faster. So you were... Yeah. I don't even know what that is. So I don't. I actually think it's a female product. Okay. And you take it for something, and someone says it makes your hair grow faster. 
I don't know if it did, but I was taking it all year. Whatever it did, but it was, I was told it grew faster. You know what? I think I need to go to a CVS. Is that a CVS type product or is that yeah. like an Instagram swipe up thing that you need to find? Yeah, I'd be careful on the Instagram swipe <laughs> You never know. <laughs> That's very exciting. You know what? I've learned a lot today. Um, I really respect the fact that we didn't talk about racing at all yeah. because we already know that you're going to have a successful weekend. You have an incredible Corvette here, mid-edging Corvette, beautiful, beautiful wagon. And, um, and I think I'm excited to have a great weekend too. So we appreciate this, Jordan. I mean, as always, a pleasure to just, just communicate with you in general. And I'm excited to uh, have that pancake that you left in my simulator yes. locker as well sometime. I have not had it yet. you got to have it. It's very tasty. If anyone doesn't know what this is, it's an Jemima pancake. Yes. In a, a can. In a can. And you just pour water in it, you mix it, you microwave it for 40 seconds. But I do believe you have to bring your own syrup. Bring your own syrup, but there's little bits of maple in it. So if oh. you don't have syrup, there's still some sweetness. Okay. So you can get away with just having it. And you can find that at your local gas stations. Yep. Anywhere. So for Jordan Taylor, for microwavable pancakes everywhere, and uh, Chevrolet Grand Prix of Detroit, we'll see you guys around the bend. <laughs>